Trying to find affordable housing today as a single mother is almost impossible. The children need to grow up in a safe environment. Uh, we deserve to live a decent life, regardless of our age. We have already taken care of our children, sometimes our parents. Uh, the way the economy is today, who's going to take care of us? It's very complicated, technical, and politically difficult work to be in the business of creating affordable rental housing. It's been a struggle for the last four years. It's been a struggle to get projects and get them under construction. The property was uh, dated. The operating costs were high. There's a market out there to support this type of housing, and there's an industry that's ready and willing to make it happen. There was 4% tax money, and there were bond funds that were allocated on a national level and available to the state of Maryland that were going unused because we didn't have the additional preferential financing to couple with those resources, and they get returned to the federal government. What we need is a program that provides funding that allows us to use that resource. Through the Maryland Affordable Housing Coalition, we advocated with great vigor for the creation of what came to be called the Rental Housing Works Initiative. The Rental Housing Works funds helps to supplement the cost so that you can actually build new construction or rehab an older property to help preserve it for affordable housing. Since its inception last year, $23 million of Rental Housing Works funding is going to leverage $250 million, which creates about 1,900 jobs, which is incredible. We are here today uh, to announce uh, that we will be uh, investing $25 million this year in Rental Housing Works in the 2014 Our governor saw that with a little bit of funds, he could create a whole lot of jobs. We're talking about our construction jobs, architectural firms, we're talking about civil engineering firms, accounting firms, legal firms. There's so many areas in the Mid-Atlantic that have faltered in construction jobs especially. This area has grown. The legislators were really smart in seeing the opportunity that was here between people getting jobs and being able to create affordable housing for their constituents. We got legislative support very quickly and within months 18 projects were in making applications. We were through the process in four months and we closed the project in six months which is phenomenal speed. When I come out here every day it's an excitement. You're seeing people work, you see the new homes. It's a vibrant community. Uh, it's starting to take new life. I come down my stairs a lot and I look around and it's amazing. We make meals together. We hang family pictures. We have birthday parties. I mean, it's just, it's a home. The children have hope and just a place to go. You have the homework club that my children are excited and look forward to. You can't lose in this type of an environment. You just can't. Pikeswood Park Apartments needed significant improvements. We had to spend about $30,000 uh, per unit in construction costs. Most of the residents in the project were elderly. The Rent Housing Works helped to make it possible for us to do the improvements that were necessary and still keep the rents at an affordable level for the residents. We here in this building feel fortunate because we were just blessed enough to be able to have the convenience of this type of building. Many don't. There's no reason in any state in the United States that they can't take care of their elderly. We're not asking for everything, but we're just asking for help. The Rental Housing Works Initiative actually saved the housing industry. I couldn't be more excited about this funding. We get to see the hard sticks and bricks and you get to see it actually built, but then you get to see the people. To see the look on the mother's face, on the father's face, on the kids' face to know, oh wow, we get our own room. I feel good about myself because this is where I want to be and I really like what I do. I was so happy when I moved here and I made so many friends. We always do things together to make one another happy. I feel like God really, you know, blessed me and shined the light. And it, it reflects in my son. 
We are the envy, I will tell you, of our colleagues around the country for having a governor and a legislator who would do this for housing. There's a lot of other states across the country that are going to look to this program as an example of a way to produce quality housing and to produce jobs. It is extremely exciting for myself and my colleagues who are all part of the coalition to have worked this hard and now to be seeing these communities, people being served, jobs be created, see all the fruits of our labor.